Start your engines for Sony Computer Entertainment America production. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. Alright folks, so how are you doing? I hope great. I'm in Jimmy GGS91 here and this is my random gameplay of this awesome game, call it CTR, Crash Team Racing. At the time, the fourth game released at the Crash Bandicoot series or franchise. Uh, after the releases of the first Crash Bandicoot game, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, yeah just like that, uh, Star Wars reference. And my favorite game at that time, the adventure game Crash Bandicoot 3, Warp It. So yeah, if you're looking to the title of this game, you see that it's pretty much very similar to Mario Kart because it's a racing game that you can use items, do slides and some kind of awesome tracks and use these items to <laughs> hit your opponents and to help you through the race. But actually this game has some kind of improvements to the Mario Kart release at that time, that was Mario Kart 64. Like an adventure mode that you can play, it's just like a story mode that you can complete. Quests, uh, races, relic races, beat the bosses, yeah, it's pretty much an, an adventure game in a <laughs> racing form. The time trials that you can uh, race against Ghost and do the best time to unlock more characters and the pretty usual arcade versus and battle mode, so just like that. So enough talking here, let's just start this thing and I explain the game while I'm playing it, if you don't know this game. And yes, as you can see, I have all the characters of the game unlocked, because those eight here on the center are the regular characters of the game, and those seven here around here are the extra characters that you unlock after you beat the story mode and the time and trial modes 100%. So basically it's that. So my, for my first track that I want to play here, I'll select, I think, Fake Crash, because he's a very funny character, to play on my favorite tracks of this game, that is the Sirius Speedway. Yeah, believe me, a track on the sewers. That may sound disgusting, but yeah. Anyways, I play this game and try to explain the difference between this game and Mario Kart. Alright. In terms of idea, this game and Mario Kart are very similar. But the first thing that you notice that's quite different for Mario Kart is just like that. You can do power slides to maintain your turbo power all over the place. That's very cool. In my point of view, a nice improvement according to the Mario Kart series. Also you have your power items as pretty usual to use your advantage to hit your opponents. Try to make some traps along the way. Yep. Also, you notice that you see that Wampa Fruit counter over me. That at the time I have two Wampa Fruits. Well, if you collect 10 Wampa Fruits on this game, like that, you can increase the power of your items, like I did here. I skip the shortcut for some reason, but anyway. As you can see, my chemical here, my item that I'm using now. It's now stronger, because I have 10 Wampa Fruits, so yeah, that's an, another nice improvement related to the Mario Kart series. Don't get me wrong, I like the two games equally, both ge are just great games, but I think this game is a little bit more challenging in terms of story, because on this game you have to rely more on your racing skills 
rather than in your items. When you're playing Mario Kart. Something like that. And got the shortcut again, that's good. Yeah, if you know how to use your power slides, you will never lose this game, eventually. Look how fun to play this game is, I mean, th this track is just awesome. And Fake Crash is a cool character as well. Fancy that, you know why this guy is called Fake Crash, it's a nice curious story. Because when Crash Bandicoot was developed by Naughty Dog on USA, I think, the game was popular and arrived at Japan, but the Japanese people did a very weird design of Crash. If you look here, this is the original Cra Crash Bandicoot, the protagonist of the series. But just look to fake Crash, it's just like a weird version of, <laughs> of the original Crash Bandicoot with larger eyebrows, just like Dr. Just like Dr. Wily of Mega Man. That's why this guy is called Fake Crash. He, he's not a character of the game, he's just a weird copy of Crash. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, let's play one more track. I'll select Reaper Who this time to play, I think, on the Trouble Track. That's a very cool track as well. But as you can see, this game it's kinda Mario Kart like. But it's still a little bit different. And of course, since you're playing on the PS1, the graphics are a little bit enhanced. The <laughs> Hipper who is a very cool character as well because he's some kind of maniac mouse. I don't know. Because if you can if you see here, he's just driving his cart using his foot, not his hands. If I can call that hands. Because he is some kind of, I don't know what it's called in English, but some kind of shirt that the crazy people use in a psychiatrist clinic or hospital. Because he's just a nuts character. Fancy that, and crash pass at me. Oh, that was a nice shot! Yeah, the chemicals here are just like the bananas on Mario. And this TNT crate here is just like the fake power crate in Mario Kart. Yep, the items are pretty much the same. Of course, they're not the same items because it would be too obvious, but the idea is basically is that. <laughs> and I love Reaper Rule Maniacal's laugh. He's too cool. Okay, so let's try to right here. <laughs> and as you already noticed, this track is called a turbo track because it has turbo boosters all over the place. <laughs> Fancy that. Yes. But this game is really fun. If you didn't play this game before, download the emulator or resurrect your PS1 and play it. This game is rather, rather fun. It's very, very fun to play, especially at multiplayer. This game is so fun to play on multiplayer like Mario Kart was. It has a battle mode as well. Some kind of deathmatch. But yeah, this game is pretty fun to play. I really like it. Alright, we won the race. So let's do our last race here to finish this recording. Three tracks are a pretty good number. I don't want this video as long as it could be. So let's select a very... a more tricky character to drive, that is Dr. Tropy. Because as my record, the Carts here have some kind of differences between them. Some carts have better handling, like Reaper Roos. Some carts have better acceleration, like Pine Stripe. And some carts have a better top speed, like the cart that I drive now. And some carts that are 
are average. They're averagely good on you know, on the stats. They have average acceleration, average top speed, and average and handling. So yeah, fancy that. So let's play on the oxide station. The boss track, by the way, because you know I already beat this game 100%, so I have unlocked other tracks for the game. This track is pretty fun as well. It's very long, by the way. So let's try to not lose here. As you can hear, the sound of Dr. Nell Tropy's car, it's a little bit more fierce. Meaning that his engine has more power. But because of that, my handling, it's the worst handling of the game. The worst handling card that you can play on this game. Fancy that. <laughs> I got you, Time Tiger. That's my favorite part of this track. The outer space section. Yeah, because if you didn't notice, we are some kind of space station or spaceship, whatever. That is the spaceship of nitrous oxide, the boss of the game. He's not playable, unfortunately. He felt the game shark code, but yeah. Let's try to use the turbo boosters in our adventure. As you can see, if you know how to use the power slides, you breeze through this game. With any card, if you want to use, whatever. Yeah, fancy that. Yeah, this track is pretty fun. Very, very fun. <laughs> and I got you, Doc. protection shield sorry if I'm not commenting too much because I want to be concentrated to beat this race alright but yeah this game is pretty fun it, it, it really works to play has his replay value. It also has a story mode that's very cool. <laughs> right, we are near the end. Alright, so I won. So folks, I think that's all. <laughs> that's all folks, just like the Looney Tunes. But yeah, this game is pretty fun. If you didn't play this game before, play it. It's, it works to play. Also, I can make a walkthrough or a let's play of this game in the future because this game has a story mode, so yeah, it's possible. It's a possibility. If you, if you guys that are watching want that I do a let's play or a walkthrough of this game, so let me know in the comments. I I appreciate to read the comments. I still don't know what game I do, I'm planning to do uh, a let's play or walkthrough next because I have a few games in mind here. I have to do something first, my computer to change the configurations and some stuff like that. But yeah, 
uh, until there, until my next walkthrough, until my next let's play, or my next video, a random gameplay like this one, I see you guys later. So, I'm Jimmy DGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.